thank you. It is such a pleasure to be here and talk to all of you today about the future of music. All right, let's get started. So before talking about the future, let's take a quick look into the past. So what do you think was the very first musical instrument? Any ideas? Lots and lots of ideas. All right, I think I heard it out there. Yeah, the voice, exactly. The only instrument that doesn't require creating any tools was created about 55,000 years ago, and that's a human voice that we all have. And then looking forward a little bit, about 35,000 years ago, the original flute was created. And of course, these acoustic instruments have been improving over the years, giving us today's acoustic piano, acoustic guitar, all of these amazing instruments. And most recently, we now have electronic instruments, like the electronic piano, electronic guitar. And perhaps the most massive recent revolution in music has been the DAW revolution, which are digital audio workstations. And you might think that this is the first time that you hear this term, digital audio workstation, but who here has played with GarageBand? All right, so GarageBand is a digital audio workstation. There are many more, such as FL Studio and uh, Ableton Live, a whole bunch of them. Now, what they do, roughly speaking, is uh, they make it so that even if you don't play any traditional musical instruments, you can actually produce all of them. So if you have a music sheet, you can convert that music sheet into a full recorded performance using nothing but your personal computer. Now, that's pretty amazing all by itself. But what we're going to talk about today is what comes next. What comes after no longer needing to have to play acoustic real instruments in order to record real music? All right. So uh, before I go any further, I'd like to play for you a song that was made with the help of an artificial intelligence. You're all I need, the breath I breathe. Trust our love enough, believe in us. Craziness, you'll make me this, and for you makes me sick. Wanna know you so adore, you can't afford to take this in. And I admit the things you play me might have paid me quite a bit, but not enough to give you up. And no, it's not, I never quit. Friends say, leave, they got a bias, feel no wrong with the dice. The melodies, both the background melody and the melody for the chorus, were both created using an artificial intelligence, which is a new concept. It's beyond producing music with a computer, but now it's also composing music with the help of AI. Okay. Um, so let's rewind a little bit to tell you how it all came to be. It was around seven to eight years ago, around the middle of my PhD in computer science, when I decided to start taking voice lessons. It started off just for fun, and I quickly fall in love, fell in love with music. And after about nine months of studying voice, I became a semi-professional singer. And so I had these two parallel lives. In one life, I was a PhD student in computer science, I then did a postdoc at Caltech and UC San Diego and eventually became a computer science professor. While in my other life, I was a singer, an artist, and was performing periodically. As a singer, I had a, a goal for a long time to write original songs. Those of you who might be musicians in the audience will know that 
you can only go so far singing other people's music. So I tried for about three years, and I tried very hard. I took piano lessons, improvisation lessons, but nothing really helped. All the melodies that would come out of my head were so terrible, I couldn't even imagine spending time producing them, never mind performing them in front of other people. And so I was about to give up on this goal of creating original music when I was introduced to a field called computational creativity. I remember distinctly spilling tea on the airplane when I, on my way to the conference. And so when I got to the conference, there was nothing I could do except sit there and listen to the talk, because my electronics were dead. And during that very first talk, an amazing idea was presented to me. And that idea was that a computer doesn't have to be only a tool, but can actually be a legitimate co-creative partner. A creative partner in the same sense that perhaps a human might be a partner. And the moment I heard this idea, I thought, OK, great. How about I build for myself a system that would help me compose original songs? So I got home. And uh, within about three months, my partner and I had the original prototype of Alicia. And for the first time ever, I was able to write original music. <laughs> yeah, so it's called, uh, it's called Alicia. And the way it works is you type in lyrics. You can type anything you want. And it gives you original melodies. And I cannot stress that enough. The melodies are completely original. And you can ask it for many different variations. And perhaps unlike a human songwriter, it will sit with you all night, giving you as many variations as you want. You know, that's the one advantage of computers. They have a lot of patience for us. Behind the scenes, and I'm not going to bore you with the details here, but behind the scenes, there is a deep learning algorithm, which has been get, getting progressively more and more complicated. But the basic intuition is that us humans, those of us who can compose music, get a lot of their uh, understanding of what music is about and a lot of understanding about what composition is by listening to other people's music. So it's exactly the same way with Alicia. Alicia familiarized herself with about 6,000 songs and out of them developed her musical style. It can, the system can be set up for literally any musical genre or language. So earlier in this talk, I showed you an English pop song. However, it can also do other things. And I'm going to attempt, despite not having had a mic check, to perform a song for you right now in a completely different genre. It is based on an Emily Dickinson poem. And the melody was created using my system, Alicia. OK, so you could follow along the lyrics if you so choose.
Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm just going to skip over this one to go to the next one. The final piece of music I'm going to show you is an Italian aria created using Alicia. And what's really incredible about this one is that the person using my system was not a musician at all. He could not read music, he could not play musical instruments, and yet he was able to create an Italian aria. To make things more exciting, the Italian aria is set in World of Warcraft, and our uh, lead singer here is uh, a torrent, which is a World of Warcraft character who is struggling to balance her home life with her adventure life. We're eventually planning to make a full stage live opera using Alicia, again set in World of Warcraft. Uh, for this particular project, we retrained Alicia on the music of famous Italian composer Giacomo Puccini. I'm going to skip over this so we don't use up too much time. Uh, so please enjoy this uh, audio video production. to submit to film festivals and eventually do a live staging. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, so what is the next step in the evolution of music? The next step, I believe, comes from collaboration with AI assistants that can fill in any skill that we are missing. So in my case, it was the inability to convert lyrics to vocal melodies. Another part that we're working on right now is the ability to create lyrics by themselves. So let's say a lot of artists struggle with lyrics creation. We have a system that makes that very easy, but always keeps the human in the loop. We want to expand our creative repertoire, and that's exactly what these AI assistants are doing. Yeah, so here it is, this next step. In case you're curious about it, you're more than welcome to join our beta. We're currently in open beta over the next few weeks. And you're more than welcome to log in and try it out at www.tryalicia.com. The part that you'll see there right now is the ability to type in arbitrary lyrics and get melodies out of them. Over the next few weeks, we're going to add a few more features, such as the ability to hear your melodies with drums, as well as create your own original lyrics. It's been a pleasure talking to you about the future of music. Thank you.